Publishing a podcast episode on Captivate is exceptionally simple and extremely quick. To do so, simply get started by clicking Publish New Episode. The episode publishing process is a completely guided process that will help you through setting up every option, whether they are mandatory or indeed optional, and it will give you the opportunity to customise your episode as you need to. The first thing to do is decide whether we want to upload our audio, whether we want to choose some existing audio from our media library, or whether we want to import an episode from the script. I'm going to go ahead and just upload some audio, and I can do so by either clicking Browse Files or by simply dragging some audio into this drag-and-drop area right here. My audio gets uploaded, and it gets processed, and I can preview that if I so wish. I can also go ahead and replace the audio file if I've chosen the wrong audio. And the same process, of course, will apply there. Next, I choose my episode title. And my episode notes. I can decide to choose a different episode title to display on Apple Podcasts if I so wish, but I'm not going to do that for the purposes of this demo. Next, I enter an episode number and a season number if applicable. I would always recommend adding an episode number. That will give you the best opportunity of being discovered inside Apple Podcasts and the other directories, and it gives listeners an easy way to reference other episodes. Season numbers are only used if your podcast is actually in a seasonal format. So if not, which is the option that I'm going to choose here in this example, you don't need to enter any season number. Next, the episode type. Do we have a normal, standard, usual episode? Do we have a trailer or a bonus episode? I'm going to choose normal here, but if you wanted to publish a trailer or a bonus episode, you would just choose the relevant option there. Next, do I want to override my show level explicit settings? So if I've got a podcast that is generally not explicit, maybe in my show settings, I would have chosen that this, this wasn't an explicit show, but perhaps I've got a guest on that drops an F-bomb, but it's great content and we don't mind it because it's, it's sort of all right on brand. So in that instance, I would say that yes, even though my, my show overall isn't explicit, this episode is. Next, I can choose a transcript. If I would like to go through that process, I can either upload or I can simply paste a transcript in. You can also import them from Descript as well. I'm not going to do that here on this example. We have a different tutorial for that. Next, I can choose an episode-specific image. Now, the way that this works is that in the podcast apps, you will see that every episode will show your podcast artwork by default. So this artwork here, that's in your podcast settings. However, many of, certainly the more modern podcast listening apps will also respect an image that is episode specific. Now that's really good for showing differentiation between your episodes. So if you do do that, if that's something that you do for your podcast, you can simply drop your episode level artwork in here, just like we did the audio file. Next, we've got some options on search engine optimization. This is used in Captivate Sync, the WordPress plugin that we have, and it's also used on your Captivate auto-generated no-code website, if you are using that. Now, if you don't fill this in, we will assume that your SEO title should be your episode title. So we'll go ahead and we'll just manually pop that in. And then what we'll do is we'll add some other keywords. Next, the SEO description. That's the description that you see inside Google and the other search engines when someone searches for something that turns up your episode as a result. And finally, we can set our episode slug. This is just the URL of the episode. And this is used on your Captivate automatically generated no code website. So I'm just going to actually, I'm going to use numbers for mine. So I'm going to go ahead with number one. And then I can choose the publish date and the publish time using a calendar and 
very simple time picker. Now, the publish time is set automatically depending on the default publish time set in your show settings. So unless you want to change that, that will be always the default time that you have previously set. I can backdate an episode to the past or I can future date an episode to schedule that episode for the future. I also have some advanced options as well. I'm not going to go into these right now, but I do have the opportunity to exclude the episode from the RSS feed or to set an episode expiration date. This is useful for seasonal podcasts that may come out, for example, during a holiday season, maybe Thanksgiving or across the Christmas period, where you might indeed want a Christmas message to actually delete itself in, let's say, January the 1st. 2022. You may want a Christmas episode to expire. We aren't going to set that, and in fact, we're just going to cancel that. And from here, I can either save as draft or go ahead and publish. And what I should note out as well is that if I just choose a time in the future, notice that this button here changes to schedule episode. So we can go ahead and we can just choose this publishing. And if I publish that, Captivate will tell you that your episode has been created beautifully and you'll see that there in your episodes area. And you can get your shareable players, your embeddable players. That has gone off to Apple and to Spotify and wherever else you've sent your podcast. And that is an episode published. If you need a hand with anything, let us know and we will be around to help.